All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. First thing I like to do is thank the guys over here at Callaway Ballistics for hooking me up with the 124 grain open tip. Those things were not only just really pretty bullets, but man, they did a great job in this last week's competition. I'm um, hoping to <laughs> make them look better in the near future. So, anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to read an article to you and I'm going to give you my input. And I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about this. And this is concerning the LA cop defies chief's orders to not post guns online wields weapon in wedding photos now they're talking about this officer tony mcbride uh she's suing the lapd chief michael moore for alleged discrimination and retaliation all right well uh first of all tony mcbride has an instagram channel and tony mcbride was involved in a shooting in 2020 with a box cutter wielding uh gentleman uh was coming after her and uh i guess she took him down so anyway, uh, there's some things out there that are a little, you know, iffy. Now, as you guys know, probably from watching my channel, I'm not a huge fan of what called gun bunnies. Okay, I'm not really big into that kind of thing. Uh, but there are some people out there who can shoot like crazy. I just, I prefer you be wearing proper attire when you're shooting, not halter tops and little spandex pants and all this other shit. Okay, uh, take it seriously. So with that being said, an LAPD officer suing her superiors used for her big day to fire back at their orders demanding she refrain from posting pictures of guns on social media. Hmm. Tony McBride, whose Instagram account is private, posted a photo of herself holding a semi-automatic rifle alongside with her husband to the platform last Thursday in defiance of the department she claims discriminated against her based on her sex. Don't know enough about it, man. McBride's photos came just two days after she filed an amendment complaint in her lawsuit against the department and Chief Michael Moore claiming he blocked her promotions for her after she refused to take down photos and videos containing guns and shooting competitions, according to the Los Angeles Times. All right. With that being said, uh, there's a lot of people out there with social media accounts. Uh, unless you're like Brenna Herrera, you have to have another job. Uh, good for him, though. I'm glad. I remember back in the day when he had 1,500 subscribers, and I sat down beside him down at the IV-88 shoot at the Brownells house, and I basically told him, you're going to be very successful. Look how handsome you are. Okay, with that, though, uh, getting back to this. You have to be very careful if you work for an organization, okay, and you're out there shooting guns, especially in today's environment. Uh, talking specifically about politics, that's why you know me as Coda Boy 32 or KB 32. Not many people know my actual name, and I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, but you got to be very careful because sometimes these organizations or a company could look at you and go, hey, listen, uh, people know you work for us and you're saying this stuff or you're out there shooting these guns and we don't care for it. I look at it like this. This is the First Amendment. This platform. Okay, YouTube might not think like that because the first time I ever put out a video about uh, Hunter Biden, my views went like this. I mean, they shut the channel down. Not on just these videos that I'm doing now, but on videos I did in the past. So we're going to get by that. No big deal, right? So what happens is you got to be really careful about this. Uh, you are responsible to a degree to your company or your boss or the people who pay you all right but they are also got to be they got to be really careful too hence this lawsuit the competitive shooter alleged in her pending suit that her superiors request to remove the photos contrasted with the treatment her male colleagues received got to you got to give proof for that okay there's no proof in this article the lawsuit maintains that the male lapd officers posted similar content frequently but not but to receive no retaliation the suit also claims that Moore threatened mcbride's job with an ultimatum that she remove the photos and videos of her gun related activities or lose her job i mean i looked at her content i did not find that she did anything that was not tasteful uh was ill or showed bad taste towards her department or her job, Chief Moore told Officer McBride that he wanted her to cease posting videos on social media, the lawsuit stated. He said that Officer McBride needed to choose between being an LAPD officer or posting social media videos. The only reason that somebody could ever do that is if you were not performing your job. A company has no right to tell you what you can and cannot do outside the confines of what you're doing. If you're in the military, different story well, i guess you could say if you're in a police department if you were doing something that was a detriment to the department yes i could see that if you were doing something that 
Well, hell, it's freedom of speech. You can do whatever you want. Let me know what your thoughts are down below about freedom of speech. The city of Los Angeles moved to dismiss the suit last month, according to the Times. Plaintiff did not, in fact, cite any posts which she ever made which she contends actually constitute a statement concerning a matter of public concern. City Attorney Kemer Raymond wrote in court documents, If the court were to accept the plaintiff's contention that any statement involving gender and guns as speech concerning a matter of public concern, then by the way of example, photos of LAPD officers in bathing suits holding weapons would be statements of public concern. I didn't see anything in a bathing suit. She was in a halter top. You know, you know how it is and you're out there tearing tacticals, uh, uh, they're doing the little range deal. Okay. Shooting his guns. Uh, so anyway, did it affect her job? Did it affect her performance? Probably not. Did it show ill will towards the LAPD? Probably not. Okay. Fox news digital reached out to the LA police department for comment, but did not receive an immediate response. And here again, McBride first entered spotlight when she was cleared of any wrongdoing. Yes. After repeatedly shooting and killing 38 year old suspect, Daniel Hernandez for advancing towards her while wielding a box cutter. I could see that the department may not want her out there in public with a bunch of guns doing it. She's not doing anything ill or bad with the guns. She's doing competitive shooting. That's it. Uh, she may be on a helicopter with a chain gun. No big deal. Uh, but they may think that this is uh, uh, tarnishing the image of the LAPD. I don't know. Well, with that, I thought it was an interesting article. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, man, I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more reviews this week. It is hot, hot, hot. Uh, so with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. I'm KB32, and I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all let me know.